Hello, my name is Gigi. I am from Lima, Peru, and I arrived in Saudi in July 2018. So it's going to be five years very soon. When I came to, to Saudi, I came for love because I got married. So I was um, <coughs> really not having too many expectations. A lot of people were telling me, no, Gigi, you are so social. What are you going to do in Saudi? You, you won't be able to do all the things that you do in Lima. But I said, okay, you know, I will see with my own eyes, you know, like uh, what is going to happen. Oh, you have to use an abaya. Now you cannot use your, your clothing. So at the airport, my husband went to, to Dubai to meet me, then to come here with, with him and um, I tried the abaya, uh, he got me one, and really, I, I feel very weird at the beginning, but I love it. Then I would always use abayas, they are beautiful. Well, when the doors of, of the airport opened, you know, it was July, so it was very, very, very hot, but uh, I didn't complain to my husband because I, I said, oh no, you know, like, we are just married, I have to be happy. And now, after almost five years here, I really love the hot weather. Before I moved to Alula, in November 2019, a friend of mine came to Alula, and when she went to Riyadh, she said, Gigi, you cannot imagine how beautiful it is, and especially the energy, the energy of Alula. So she showed me the pictures, and I was thinking, oh, I want to go to Alula, I want to go to Alula, until one year and a half after it, my husband was offered uh, a job here. So I said, please, we have to accept it. <laughs> so he did. When we came for the first time, we were driving. And just like an hour and a half before arriving to Alula, and we are seeing these amazing mountains, we were like, oh, oh my God, oh my God. Like, it's really, really beautiful. I would recommend everyone to come to Alula. I really know a lot of uh, places that a lot of people also don't know. But I think that uh, everybody who has come to Alula can say that I want to go back. At the beginning when I was in Riyadh, I was not working. And then I came to, to Alula and by uh, synchronicity, <laughs> I met someone who offered me a job to work in Kandahar movie. And so I had an interview. It was so nice because I didn't know what it was about. And then they said, okay, you are in, and it was a Hollywood movie, the, the first Hollywood movie that has been filming Alula. And I know that there is coming a lot more. It was really, really nice. It was with Gerard Butler and Travis Fimmer. And uh, it was a magnificent experience, especially because all the crew, we were 300 people, were here in Alula, all in the same resort. So we made a family. My experience has been super amazing. I think that Saudi, with the vision 2030, is in a process of, of, of magic, is growing, is uh, changing so fast. Um, I, for example, see the women super empowered. Before I thought, oh, the Saudi women must be super shy, you know, like that. Oh, no, I see the women, the Saudi women are so empowered, with so much personality, 
they know what they want, they have dreams and they really look, at, they are um, trying to pursue them. So for me, that has been one of the most uh, amazing things that I have found in Saudi. I am living in a vivid museum. Alula is like you're in a museum, in an open museum, you know, like, of course, I have been in Hegra, uh, I have been in Dadan, uh, I have been in, in a lot of arche archaeological sites. So, well, I went to the edge of the world, which is quite uh, uh, close to Riyadh. Then I went to Kasim, I went to Ha'il, I went to Tabuk, so many times I went to Jeddah, I went to Alwash, I went to Jambu. In Riyadh, I also have gone to, to the mosque. I went in a tour to the mosque. So I, I think that I know a lot of the kingdom. Here I feel that I am like always discovering something, something new from the ancient times. Last week, I went to, to see the art exhibition of Andy Warhol. It was really beautiful. It was in Maraya. Um, then I went there to two concerts to, to see Westlife and also Seal. I went to see Desert X Art, Desert X Alula. Last year it was divine. It was really, really wonderful to see all the artists, you know, doing absolutely amazing pieces of art with sand, with, with the sand of, of Alula. It was very, very nice. There was also Saudi artist. Yes, yes, yes. And, it, and it's very nice, you know. It's very nice to see now all the, the Saudi young people who are interested in arts, in filming, in dancing. Uh, it's, for me, it's really, really nice because I, I think that uh, uh, it's going to be super nice in the future. It's going to be very nice. I could never imagine to see some uh, events of such magnitude, musical concerts here in Saudi. They are really super nice. The theater, Maraya, which uh, has uh, won a record Guinness, is so beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. It's so elegant. When you go there, uh, you feel like you, it's since uh, you get in, you feel so special, everything is special and really the concerts are wonderful, the lights, the sound um, and all the artists that are coming are top class. I really try to go to every event. I have gone to, I don't know, cannot tell you which ones but I really I think that I have gone to most of the events. I'm like, I want to go to everything. I love art, I love music, so it's a place to be. Like my friends in, uh, even in other countries are saying, wow, Gigi, you are, you are having more cultural things now that we are having. So I'm so happy. Every day walking the Oasis Trail, which is beautiful, because there, for example, you can find all the houses of the ancient uh, Alula people. Uh, it was their summer place, so it's very nice because it's full of, of uh, date palm trees. The sun is not so hot there, so you can walk and it's, everything is green. It's very, very nice. I love to go there. Then I try to go to the gym for some weights. 
Uh, then I, I love to write. So I write, I'm trying to write a book, and I, I am also in a group of writers. So every six weeks we have to write a, a story, just short stories, and then we score them. So there is winners and not winners, and so I also do that. Then I go out with my friends. So now, you know, um, after those beautiful trees, we are going to discover a mountain and we have to hike. Yes. I will take you between the trees there and after that we will go up. Be ready, okay? Yeah. Listen to the birds. It's full of nature. Yes, and here we keep all the trees. It's a nature. Don't cut, don't do anything. Yeah, it's a natural place. Wonderful. I have met a lot of uh, expat people and also Saudi people. The good thing here in Alula, compared, let's say, to Riyadh, is that because Riyadh is a, is a big city, you know, the people has their groups, and also I was super social there. But here, because we are less people, we see each other more. So we are being a lot, like talking together, chatting together, so it's very nice. I, I really like it. I also love to go to the Shalal Cafe. It's a cafe that is inside a mountain. So everybody, every time that somebody comes for the first time to Alula, I always take them there because it's like a must. It's magical, it's like uh, you, f you feel that you are in a movie. Then next to it, uh, there is a hiking mountain that on the top of the mountain, you found uh, reservoirs of water. So it's really impressive. Wow, look at this reflection. Yeah. Wow, it, it's magical. It looks like it is that we have the sea uh, over us. Uh, so we have many people comes here and uh, enjoy, enjoy for uh, the hiking and the farm because we have a natural farm, an organic farm. Yes. So we have a natural life and we love to so all the people comes here to, to see it and sharing everything we have here. Yeah, and what, what happened when, when the other day it rained so much? Does this water came through those mountains? Yes, it's the up here and fill up all this one mm -hmm. and throw down. Yeah, that is why I, I can't stop coming here back with all my friends. I love the nature. I love to be in a small town. I was the city girl. Fashion, you know, like going like to big cities, traveling like that. And also my family was telling me, Gigi, what are you going to do in a little village? And I discovered that I really, I am, I can be a city girl, but I can also be a village girl if it's like a Lula. You know, like uh, waking up in the morning, the sky is full of colors, magical. At night, is full of stars and during the day is blue. I love it. I really like uh, drive my car and I am always saying thank you God, Alhamdulillah, that I am here with this. Really, the moon here is so big, it, it seems that it's like, you know, like that. And uh, yes, I think that is what I, I most like uh, of Alula.
have made so many friends, expats and also Saudi. I have experienced the Saudi life, which is really amazing. I have been a weekend in Qasim, in the house of a, a Saudi family. They were so generous. The hospitality was so, so spectacular. I was thinking the only thing that they didn't do is sitting me on their lap and feed me because it was like too, too much. Like, wow, like really like, uh, it's, it's super, super nice. And especially all these changes that are coming to the kingdom are really fantastic. Um, it's very nice to be inside this magical economical growth so so that is super super nice i really am so happy to be here especially at this moment of change being my grandfather from palestine <laughs> i have all my life had a, the arabic coffee so i really enjoy it Yes, and at the beginning, because the Saudi coffee is different to the Palestinian coffee, and for example, people say to me, oh, if you, take, if you drink one little cup of Saudi coffee, then you won't sleep. But I can really have 10 because I love it and nothing happens. So, you know, you see, it's like the movies I was telling you before. Yes, I love it. And every place I go, in any tour, for example, it doesn't happen in the world, but here, Every tour you go, there is these ladies or these guys with a smile, you know, offering you coffee and dates. It's really, really, really nice. Saudi hospitality is like really, really, really amazing. If I tell my friends, for example, in Peru or all my friends around the world how it is, they wouldn't really imagine because you have to experience it. Because really it's, uh, it's not only that they invite you, everything is the way that they open their house to you is, is really, really, really very lovely. I will miss the most the security here. After three months that I arrived to Riyadh, I started to feel a wellness inside me. It was a feeling that was like, wow, there is something inside me, it's so nice. What is it? I was thinking maybe because I am not working anymore, because I have a stressful uh, job in Peru. But I said, no, Gigi, because you were so successful and you love your work, which is true. And then it was that for the first time in this country, you can walk. You don't have to look like that when you are walking. When you're stopping a traffic light, you don't have to, to be like aware of somebody is going to, to steal you something or you know, to, to crash your window. If you forget your, your purse with money, jewelry, whatever, you will find it. Somebody will take it for you. So really that, I don't know if Saudi are aware of that, but it's something so precious and I have never seen it in other countries in the world. I will miss that. Something that is very similar, for example, to the Latin culture is that we are family oriented. So what I love here is that I feel home because uh, it's always about the family. It's always about all being together, live also together. I, I see, for example, the love of the son or daughter to their dad and mom, which is something that I really appreciate a lot. My family is uh, around the world and thanks God uh, the technology is now super good. So we are always doing FaceTime and we, I am also traveling a lot to see them. So my daughter studies in Switzerland. Now I'm going to visit her. I'm going to Peru to visit my son. And yes, it's hard that part, you know. I have family, 
a lot of friends. Sometimes you don't need to be uh, with someone physically when your heart is really like uh, there. So we are very close. I am very close with my family and with my friends too. Now that I am going to, to go to Peru, wow, everybody's waiting for me. Queridos amigos y querida familia, ustedes ya saben lo feliz que estoy en Saudi y los espero, aquí está mi casa, no se van a arrepentir, Saudi es un país maravilloso, lleno de muchísimas cosas que ofrecer, eh, van a encontrar cultura, historia, civilizaciones antiguas, arqueología, eventos, música, deporte, arte, todo y unos corazones que no se imaginan lo que, eh, lo que les van a poder dar.